Hi guys, welcome back to United Star. Manchester United have just been knocked out of the FA Cup semi-finals. We lost three-one to Chelsea. In frankly, what I can say was, I think one of the worst performances we've had after the lockdown. Vishesh, let's get right into it. First, I want to hear your thoughts on the game. Then we'll get into the specifics. Rishi, I don't know where to start. To be honest, I think um, I'm going to go. I'm first going to talk about Chelsea, and then going to get to United. 18 fouls in 72 minutes without a booking. You kick someone in the balls, you don't get a yellow. You you kick someone like uh, what was that Rudiger foul where Martial got the ball and he just kicked Martial on the foot last. That was Zuma. Minutes. That was Zuma. Okay, Zuma. Whoever whoever the hell that was in defense, nothing's done about it. Bruno's just outright kicked. Uh, we saw by okay that that was that was an unfortunate situation and I hope he gets well soon. And well, Mike Dean was doing the perfect Kante job, wasn't he? Just getting in between all the players that whenever we had a chance and whenever we got the ball. So I mean, this is the positives from the game for United. This this is what I think were positive things out of United's game. And United's performance, uh, bro, De Gea is over. I don't want to see him in between the posts for the West Ham game or the Leicester game. Romero starts for me. I don't care whether Romero's positioning is bad. I said this when we had the Henderson and uh, De Gea debate as well. You can't. You can't make such mistakes on such a big scale. The the boys come out at halftime with with the with the aim of you know getting that goal, and you concede such a simple goal. I agree. Brandon Williams shouldn't have made that pass back. But is this? the level of goalkeeper i have text from people who i played with in mssa mumbai who thought i would save both the goals that he conceded it's outrageous to say the least you know uh, i feel ever since our team players have been getting injured so badly we've just seemed to have lost spirit you know what happened with william uh, williams last week and happened with uh, bai today I think it just no, breaks the team of the whole you team. You can't blame it to that. You need to look at it from a point-to-point perspective. Ole got it tactically wrong. We have to give it to Lampard. He out he outclassed us when it came to tactics. Yeah. So this is what I wanted to talk to you about. One was, uh, do you think it's more Manchester United's fault or is it more Chelsea were just too good today? Like the reason why I'm asking is because there are some games in which the opponents are just too good and there's nothing that the losing team can do. But it takes me back to the 2011 Champions League final where Barcelona. Was just a class above, and there was nothing that United team. I I would I would agree to that. If I saw us play in a manner, if I saw us fight, first half we were we were we were, you know I think teams have understood how to play against us. Just press the back three. What did Maguire get a concussion or something? If he had, then why was he not off the pitch? What was that performance? I can break down each and every player's mistake. Rashford, the most sloppy player I saw on the field, least enthusiastic. It's it's a semi-final at Wembley. What are you guys doing? Bruno's the only one running up and down. Who is James? Why is James starting? He's a white man, Lukaku. Sorry if I'm being racist by saying that. Why is you know? James- I, I I think I think where we went wrong was the way we started with the formation. The reason being. Was because we played right into Chelsea's mentality. We should have played to our strengths. This Ole team is not a Mourinho team. We cannot set up to play against another team and try to shut the other team off. That's just not how we've operated, and we've never won games like that. We only won games when we've played to our strengths, and I think that was our biggest mistake today, where we didn't play to our strengths. We tried to outsmart Chelsea no, no, without no, no. realizing Rishi, that's not where we. Rishi, can play. I, I. Uh... Personally, I said this in the preview. Also, I wanted a three at the back, but the biggest mistake Ole made was he he believed in the bench. We saw it against Norwich. Our bench can't do jack. He got on Fred and Matic. Fred plays way more defensive than an attacking role. How can you exp- and and he got James on for Greenwood. James, he's not a starting player for Manchester United. No, Vishesh. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That that was the mistake because we tried to play into Chelsea's game, thinking they are going to press us, and the only way we can win is on the counter by releasing the ball to Dan James and the likes. That's why even Marshall didn't start because Rashford and Daniel James are much faster than him. 
my point is we shouldn't have never done that we should have started with our strongest 11 that we know works we should have played with the style that we know 100% works and we shouldn't have thought about chelsea yes they're a good team but we showed way too much respect to them and i'm saying this because there was a big debate on our group as well the things on the group got heated as well as to who was at fault over here and i'm saying yes ole was at fault but not in the way you and prasham were pointing out i'm saying he was at fault for not playing the way we wanted to we we are used to playing while prasham and while prasham was of the uh, 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 wagon that says uh, ole is at fault because he didn't try something new i'm saying this is not the game to try something new this is the game where we play to our strengths i i agree i, I agree when you're saying that uh, we showed uh, chelsea a lot of respect i agree that we should have played to our strengths but i think more than just saying it's ole's fault we need to pick on these players because i am worried as a united fan going into the last two games what kind of morale are we going to go in with we have you know, to beat leicester we have to beat west ham and i'm pretty sure david moyes is probably sitting in his office and being like okay we just need to have a high press and maintain that that kind of game against these people they've just they've just played another game against chelsea they played around 100 minutes before to which which team did we play before chelsea i don't even care anymore but yeah you know it's a tired squad that from saying, and, and we, we you know spoke what? about this we're going to be uploading this before uh, this ole's press conference if ole gives the excuse oh okay you know we had 48 hours less in comparison to chelsea it doesn't matter it's a bloody semi final i don't accept that reason yeah you know we spoke about in our reviews and previews of the previous few games about how we believed that the mentality was back that the players wanted to play for the badge why do you think this always happens with us this always happens with us we 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 look like we're going to string together a good set of games where we feel like the mentality is back the players want to play pogba looks like he wants to play for the badge and then we go and do games like these where pogba was absolutely stagnant today rashford i don't know what got into him today dan james is already a finished player he never even started at united and he's already finished why do you think this happens to us it's 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 just lack of ambition lack of you know concentration the players can say we've played a lot of football we've done this well you had a break as well and rishi i'm going to i'm going to go back to this point since since we've come back from covid i've been the one who's been saying that you know i always get a feeling that there will be this one game where united's wheels will just be off and we'll lose really badly and everyone was like no that's not possible this is a new side this side does not have consistency in it again this game when we started off it was you know pass the ball to bruno bruno creates it was very similar to the pog butter rashford that we had last season or in the start of the season you cannot play that way okay you know what i think we can go on and on about this i'm sure we'll have a lengthy len- discussion about this later on let's just wrap things up with who do you think today was the best player for united and the worst player for united there's no one there's no one rishi to give a best player award if max to max bruno for his effort and that that was out there he was running up and down he was getting fouled left right and center and he scored that penalty so great and worst player it's de here there's there's i can pick on every single player from maguire lindelof williams made a very good tackle towards the end but you know you can't just look at it's de here i i think he's done Romero starts for me in the next two games that's all i have to say okay guys let us know what you think in the comments section down below leave a like subscribe and we'll see you with the next one